Hi, everybody. My name is Pamela Rose, and I'm going to be teaching a six-week class on the great women of the American songbook. These are the women composers and lyricists that gave us some of our most enduring songs. We're going to be uh, exploring their lives, their music, there will be a lot of sing-alongs, and for at least two of those classes, I'll be bringing in an accompanist, and there'll be a little bit of live performance as well. And as we explore these women, we also can look at how popular music evolved in this country as a whole. Following certain trends, it always has reflected certain um, uh, cultural and social changes, but the music itself also had its own effect on cultural and social norms. So um, just kind of briefly what we'll be doing every week, we start out with those early Tin Pan Alley years, the great hustlers um, who brought their shows to what as music business changed from mostly Irish ballads into a very snappy Tin Pan Alley sound that was the mostly Jewish songwriters that came out of that era um, in the pre-radio gramophone era. Then we're going to be moving to Hollywood and jazz as the music business moved over to Hollywood after the Depression. And we got some of the great movie musicals and some of the incredible um, women that were a part of that. But also we're gonna take a look at early jazz with Lil Hardin Armstrong and Mary Lou Williams later in developing bebop uh, music as music became more sophisticated. Week three, I'm gonna be doing this fabulous piece on country music. Tell you the truth, I've never been a big country music fan, but now I am inspired as I find out that this music has given us some phenomenal women songwriters in what was has always been a fairly conservative and certainly sexist atmosphere. These women managed to have quite an independent voice and even sometimes kind of subversive. We'll be moving along into um, uh, up into 1960. That's so we're looking at Peggy Lee and Billie Holiday and Betty Comden. And then as we get into the 60s, we're going to roar into there with Carol King, um, Valerie Simpson, some of the what they call Teen Tin Pan Alley, some of these early women who wrote such great songs, giving us our generational soundtrack, if you're my age. And then finally, we're going to end up with the great movement of the singer-songwriters, which kind of started in the 70s. So it's Joni Mitchell, and Laura Nero, and Patti Smith, and maybe even Beyonce, as we look at what happened to popular music up to now. It's gonna be a pretty vibrant class. You'll have a lot of fun. You'll hear a lot of great music and you'll learn something about what makes us what we are um, through the lens of music discovery. Hope you can join us.